And today, the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michel Bachelet, is urging the governments of Saudi Arabia and Turkey to reveal everything they know about the disappearance and possible extrajudicial killing of the prominent Saudi journalist after he visited his country's consulate in Istanbul. Enforced disappearance or murder, if that has occurred, extrajudicial killing. Either way, those are very serious crimes. So, um, and what the one thing we really know as a solid fact is that Mr. Khashoggi went into the consulate and he never came out again, um, or was never seen coming out again. So it seems very probable some, some crime or other has been committed. Um, we, we all need to know what it was and how it happened and who's responsible uh, and where the, where the evidence leads. In view of the seriousness of the situation surrounding the disappearance of Mr. Khashoggi, the High Commissioner believes the inviolability or immunity of the relevant premises and officials bestowed by treaties such as the 1963 Vienna Convention on Consular Relations should be waived immediately. Two weeks is a very long time for the probable scene of a crime not to have been subjected to a full forensic investigation. The bottom line in answer to your question is anyone responsible should be held accountable. Um, and that means anyone you know, who committed a crime or who is involved in the planning of the crime or executing it, um, there should be accountability if it's a serious crime. That's a basic fundamental principle of law, national law and international law.